Hello there, welcome back to, well, the Norse game, I guess I should call this, or the first achievement game. Um, I'm a little bit sure what we're actually doing here. <coughs> my apologies, I got a hair in my mouth. Um, but I'm, as I was saying, I'm a little bit unsure what we're actually doing, but, uh, I know that I want to buy some empires, I guess that is what I'll be continuing to do. Just, uh, well, building up power in order to snatch it. And, to be perfectly honest, it shouldn't actually be too much of a problem. We're also fighting for Russia, I believe, for uh, that other achievement as well. So, uh, there's a lot of things to be uh, to be noted here. We're also, of course, raiding, apparently. For whatever reason. But, uh, yeah. It seems like I have everything under control. I'm a little bit unsure how we'll go forth in uh, terms of getting uh, the achievements. But, uh, I wouldn't really be too worried. They'll probably... Uh, Almost come on their own, more or less. More, more or less. So uh, I'll uh, do a little bit of check, see what I actually want here. I want Russia for. I know there's a achievement uh, here. I believe, yeah, they actually fixed the uh, cloud save bug thingy that was annoying the crap out of me earlier. They fixed that now, so I don't have to worry about that. We'll enforce the mods, and I guess I'll just continue with my uh, with my conquest here. My mindless conquest. So uh, we'll have to see how this turns out. I'm pretty sure it won't be uh, it won't be too much of a problem. But uh, I'll try and get the Byzantine Empire usurped ASAP so we can start with the Rome challenges. It'll be very interesting to have a uh, to have a uh, to have a North Rome. We'll see how that actually plays out. But for now, we'll just continue warfare and then we'll see how uh, we'll see how things stand up for that. No idea if I can actually declare one northern kid. I also believe that I did go for... Yeah, I did. I did go for getting uh, the Syria area in case I actually get a Jewish ruler on the throne. So, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, work apparently. We'll see how it all plays out. But now, we'll uh, finish the uh, wars that we're currently fighting. And then we'll see how we stand after that. As you can see, the conquest in uh, the eastern area is actually going fairly well. I've taken four provinces so far. And we're just going to finish the conquest war. I will try to stay inside the Russian borders, but we'll not be taking this area here. It's too far east for the time being, I'll just leave it as it is. But we'll be trying to take this area here and, uh, well, incorporate that. So we'll be fighting Bithynia uh, once we can. And I still have the problem with the Byzantines running around being, well, obnoxious as... Uh, as well, they usually are, so uh, we will be playing this fairly, I think, uh, careful to make sure that uh, I don't step into uh, it or get myself into too much trouble with independence uh, factions and things like that. But uh, we'll definitely keep on just, to some extent, causing trouble. I guess that is uh, that is my best, or the best way I could put it. And we'll be doing some raiding, and once we're done with this Byzantium, or the war that I'm currently fighting with Byzantium, then we'll declare one under Norovitz for, uh, well, some of the other problems that we need in Syria. We'll see how that plays out. So, the war against Byzantium here is, uh, it's over, we can enforce our demands. And the independence faction is up on, well, their own, their own, their old schemes, I guess I should say. I've also got myself another son here, he's actually strong. Uh, born of a concubine, though, so that, well, comes out diplomacy, but the fertility and health still, uh, well, is a factor that I intend to use. I can actually go for a Great Holy War. Great Holy War for Greece, just fill in the blanks. Uh, it's actually quite tempting, to be perfectly honest. I could go for Mesopotamia, Greece. Unfortunately, I can't actually declare that for Jerusalem. Jerusalem. If I could, that would be... Uh, Wonderful, but uh, I guess what we'll do then is actually wait a couple more years and then we'll use the Great Holy War here to go for Great Holy War for Ruthenia. Yeah, we'll take Ruthenia uh, because basically that's what gives me the most land in the least war and the least pain, I guess I should say. Why do you hate me so much? Ambition, Sellers, Infidel. Oh. This is kind of a problem though, I allow these people to live in my realm and they don't actually... I don't cause any trouble for them, they don't cause any trouble for me. Yet, even so, we kind of have to hate each other. 
I don't understand how that system works, but apparently it, it does one way or another. Uh, of course, the problem here might be that, once again, if the independence faction decides to break out in all that war, I'll probably get into, well, to say it the, the easy way, it will be a horrible, troublesome situation. So I think what we'll do now is just keep on with the uh, with the regular raids here for the sole purpose of, well, or I guess I should say the continued purpose of just uh, earning money. I need to make up a, quite a bit of money before the uh, war start breaking out here. But uh, we'll still go south there and declare a holy war for Galilee, I think, to join our lands together. And uh, hopefully that should be enough to... Uh, at least keep the independence faction at bay for now. Also, I should probably get rid of this uh, province that I'm holding that is uh, one too many. So, uh, we'll do that and hopefully it'll... Well, make the independence faction a little, a little bit less trigger happy. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, once the other army there is in position, we'll declare war on uh, the... Uh, the one kid. I believe, it's that. I believe it's them. And hopefully I'll... Uh, I'll be able to win the war without any uh, any points. We'll probably we'll probably do the same thing that I basically do with while well, raid. Just walk around and punch their uh, doors in more or less. I would have preferred to build, but for now we'll we'll take a little bit of pause in the building in order to uh, well save up a bit of cash. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Apparently, I'm losing the Kingdom of Norway tile right now to my sister. Actually, I'm returning to plot you plot your death, but apparently I can't do that. But uh, instead, let us have some fun here by declaring a holy war for Galilee. There we go. Found it at last. But yeah, we're going to secure this area here. And I'm a little bit sure what we'll do after we've done that. We'll see. But uh, they do have quite a bit of troops here. And I'm pretty sure my retinue should be able to handle this once again without too much fuzz. So I think we'll actually just win this war by walking around and hunting down their armies rather than sieging. It seems actually to be the better option because of two simple facts. First and foremost, I can't really allow their armies to, well, join up. They would be a horrible, horrible situation to... It would be a horrible, horrible situation to be in. So I guess I'll slaughter them, although I'm not actually getting any war score here. Why? Oh, I've only had one battle. Could someone please explain that one to me? I kind of believe I have had three or four so far, but uh, apparently I do not. Doesn't matter, we'll uh, fight these guys or this battle here and then we'll siege. So I'm pretty sure we, we already have this in the bag. And this confirms my suspicions, but uh, apparently I'm not actually fighting the, uh, the real enemy. I'm just slaughtering it's in my past and I don't actually get any wall score from it so what I think we might have to do is go uh, down south and murder this army because it actually carries the no one can name so uh, we'll do a uh, we'll do an attempt on that and uh, we'll see how it plays out so the battle or the interesting battle or no the slaughter is stone, I guess, and uh, with that, I'm pretty sure this war is won. Once again, the only thing I really could screw me over here is potentially horse, uh, horse knights or horse riders, but uh, I don't, I don't expect them to come. So we'll do this, uh, this one more battle here, then we'll march north and uh, siege the duchy, and I'm pretty sure that will be, uh, that'll be the end of this war. And I should probably have checked if I could actually usurp the Byzantine Empire tile before I did this, but. Uh, Unfortunately, they are at war with this guy, who is probably Mentorna. He's actually going for this one? Huh. Well, it doesn't matter. As long as he conquer conquers the province or two for me, I'm happy with that. But uh, hopefully, yeah, I can try and usurp the Byzantine Empire again pretty soon. I'm, pretty sh I'm a little bit sure, but I believe I'm missing a couple of provinces to actually pull that off. But uh, who knows? Let's deal with this rebel before we deals with uh, before, or before we deal with the uh, duchy. So uh, once again, not a problem at all. They are basically just loaded. So uh, I'll do as I said, quick sieges, and then we'll see how things stand after that. If there's any big battles, I'll show you. But uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect it. We'll see. 
As you can see, the war is over. It took two sieges to finish it. They actually have a army of war soldiers over here. I'm half tempted to actually go ahead and try and get that one out of the way and, well, to some extent, just to completely destroy it. But, um, to be perfectly, uh, perfectly honest, I don't think that's a good idea. Of course, it would be good, great to get rid of them, but potentially I'd just lose my retinue. And as things are currently standing with the independence faction, Going more or less back and forth between shall we declare war, shall we sit peacefully, shall we declare war, shall we sit peacefully. I um, I would say it's just better to play it safe. I don't want to find another independence war. They basically happen way too often. So uh, we'll do our best to avoid them as, uh, as much as possible. But uh, I guess it's almost time for the Great Holy War for Ruthenia. So, I'm a little bit unsure if I should move these guys up north. I think I will. The uh, Norman kid, the only thing that I really would be interested in, well, or dealing with them is if they have an independence revolt, and currently they have none. So, uh, I don't really have too much to worry about in terms of that. So, we'll move our troops down up or north into Ruthenia. Why are we enemies? Oh, that's right, I'm raiding you. Stupid question. But, uh, as I said, we will wait for the truce to end with Ruthenia, and then we'll declare war on them. Apparently I can hold a great loot, and my prisons should be brimming. Yeah. Guess we'll hold a great loot then while we, uh, while we wait for, uh, for the war to begin. So, uh, they didn't actually... No one paid me this year. That is, uh, that's insulting. No matter how you, no matter how you slice and dice it. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just hand out the provinces here and then we'll have our loot. And hopefully, we'll be able to uh, kick Ruthenia's aft. aft. No, we'll be hopefully be able to kick Ruthenia's arse afterwards. So, let us see here. Nope, that was not what I was expecting here. Human sacrifice. Uh, I have a ton of them. They ran into a bunch of horse archers. Damn, I almost... Almost feel sorry for them. Just almost. Why? Huh. Well, we are offering sacrifices, a lot of them. There we go, someone actually gives a reasonable amount of uh, piety and prestige. But, uh, as one might imagine, my prison is a little bit too full. But, uh, as long as you have... A little bit of gold, I'm pretty sure I can accommodate you. But uh, for once the horse archers were actually useful, they destroyed a, uh, they destroyed an enemy army for a revolt, so... That's actually kind of hilarious to look at, to actually see them sabotage rebels that would most likely screw me over to a bigger or lesser degree. They, it, they would be annoying to deal with at least, so it's not like I'm completely stupid, just a little bit stupid. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to join up or get my army up in there and go for the Great Holy War for Ruthenia. Should be an interesting one. So, it's time for, well, a Great Holy War for Ruthenia. It shouldn't actually be a problem at all, I'm pretty sure we'll win this uh, comfortably. Great Holy War for Ruthenia, the omens are clear. Tilka Evan has declared a Great Holy War for on King Vasily. Vasilko, the second of Ruthenia, and the followers of Perun in uh, the Kingdom of Ruthenia. All three Norsemen are encouraged to aid in the conquest of their holy places. Thor will strike down their Perun for Thor. So yeah, this is going to, as I said, most likely just be straight up slaughter. I don't expect any opposition whatsoever. They do have some decent armies, a 10k running around around here, 3k, 1.7k, 1.6k. But, once again, I have raided this area here so it will be easy to siege They'll give me some well very easy wall school uh, the only thing that I well could worry about could potentially screw this over is if the independence faction actually decides that this is uh, this is something that they don't like they want uh, they want me to stop I am uh, I'm ruining it I'm ruining everything so to speak but uh, as one might already imagine by Yes, I spoke too soon. There's 30,000 men. Ha! Huh. I will not be blackmailed, pal. 
but uh, this actually poses a more more of a dilemma. Do I finish this war now, or do I focus on the guys who are actually part of the independence faction? That is the thing that's kind of worrying me here. I think we'll split this arm in two. Yeah, I think we'll split that in two. We'll not be using it for sieging purposes, we'll be using it for hunting. And when I say hunting, I mean hunting the rebels. Nothing else, just the rebels, get rid of them. Do whatever I have to, kill them off, and hopefully yeah, I'll be able to, to make something work from that. I think, yeah, I think this is more than enough. So, uh, hopefully here, yeah, by using uh, the Levi's, I'll be able to uh, hopefully crush my enemies before they actually... Before they actually become a big, big, scary threat. So, uh, with that said, I'll be joining up a couple of armies, armies here to hunt down theirs. It shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be a problem at all in the uh, long run, I think. I should probably have kept this army in non Europe, so I, we're going to start doing that right now. And as you can see, my retinue cap is actually plummeted thanks to this revolt, so uh, I'll be using these two armies first as just a, well, tool of conquest, I guess I should say, and then we'll go after the. Uh, then we'll go properly after the rebels and hopefully crush them before we get into too much trouble. But unfortunately, we'll have to do that uh, next time. Once again, there won't be actually too much. Uh, it's just annoying micromanagement hunting down all these smaller annoying armies. But uh, if I split them up into 8,000 units, they should be able to do that fairly easily themselves. But uh, that doesn't really matter. We'll uh, continue the... Uh, continue the experiment or conquest whatever you want to call it next time hopefully we won't be losing any promises to uh, people attacking the revolters but uh, we can never guarantee that we'll see how it goes next time thank you for watching please have a comment praise criticism anything you feel like and hopefully i'll see you around next time bye